Welcome to this tutorial video on permutation matrices. Let's start with an identity matrix. Most people will be aware that an identity matrix is a square matrix. It contains ones and zeros and all the ones are located across the principal diagonal. Now when you multiply a matrix such as matrix A here by the identity, it returns you matrix A. Likewise, if you multiply the identity matrix with matrix A, it also returns you matrix A. It's much like multiplying a number by the number one, that number for example, 1 times 2 is 2, or 2 times 1 is 2. So let's have a look now, that's identity matrices, let's have a look at permutation matrix. So a permutation matrix, I've got three examples of these matrices here, permutation 1, 2 and 3 down the bottom. They each are square, they consist of only 1s and zeros, and the rule is that there must only be a single 1 in each one of the rows and in each one of the columns. So the similar or identifying feature of these three matrices is each one has a one single one in each row and a one in each column. Never more than one though. Let's see how they're applied. So I have here a matrix A multiplied by a particular permutation matrix and matrix B. Now you can do the mathematics and prove this, no worries. In fact I've done it with a CAS calculator here to back up the results. But let's have a look closely at what's happening. What we find is column one in matrix A is now column 1 in matrix B. However, column 2 in matrix A, indicated with the red colouring here, has become column 3 in matrix B, and column 1 in matrix A has been relocated to column 2 in matrix B, and we have that summarised down the bottom of the screen. Let's check carefully the elements in the permutation matrix. This one here has got the element reference P11. Now it's really a, a key, if you like, for working out how this permutation occurs. So P11 tells me that the row, rather the column of matrix A, 1, column 1, as by the red 1, is located in matrix B in column 1, so 1 to 1. The second element with a 1 in it in the permutation has the reference of P23. That tells me that the second column in matrix A is relocated to the third column in matrix B, so it's 2 to 3. And you can see finally here the third and final one represents, it has a reference of P element 3, 2, which tells me the third column in matrix A is relocated to the second column in matrix B. When you have the order of a matrix and then a permutation, this always generates a column permutation or a shifting of the columns. Example 2, we have here a different permutation matrix, a different combinations of ones and zeros. And this is our original matrix A and our new product matrix B. Let's have a look again. In this case, column 1 has been shifted to column 2 in matrix B. Column 2 of matrix A has been relocated or shifted to column 1 of matrix B, and column 3 stays as it is. Let's look at the elements in the permutation matrix. So P12 tells me that column 1 gets moved to column 2 in matrix B. P21 here, highlighted yellow, it tells me that column 2 of matrix A gets relocated to column 1 of matrix B. And the element here, the 1, P33, it tells me that column 3 of matrix A is moved, or in this case, stays in column 3 with matrix B. Final example, when we're looking at column permutations, it's a different permutation here again, another combination of 1s and zeros, but still only 1, 1 in each column and 1, 1 in each row. Let's have a look. Column 1 has been shifted to column 2, Column 2 of matrix A has been shifted to column 3 of matrix B, and column 3 of matrix A has been shifted to column 1 of matrix B, and this is summarised here. Let's have a look at the elements of the matrix P for the permutation. So this one has a reference of 1, 2, which means column 1 from A is relocated in column 2 from B. So using this permutation matrix, the 1s, as a key in terms of what rows, rather, what columns are being moved from A to B. So the second one has a reference of 2, 3, row 2, column 3. So that tells me that column 2 of matrix A is moved to column 3 of matrix B. And finally the element here, P31, tells me the third column in matrix A is relocated to the first column in matrix B. Now if we reverse this and put our permutation on the far left hand side, we end up having a different result. So here's our answer, and checked with the CAS calculator. What we have now is rather than a column permutation, we have a row permutation, where row 1 
in matrix A is now located in row 2 of matrix B. Row 2 in matrix A is located in row 3 of matrix B and row 3 of matrix A is located in row 1 of matrix B and this is all summarised down the bottom here. Let's see how this maps out with the elements of the permutation. So this works in reverse before we went from a column with the I reference of the permutation element to the column in the J reference from left to right. When we're talking about the rows we work in reverse. So this first element of P13 tells me we go from row 3 working backwards to row 1. So row 3 in matrix A is now row 1 in matrix B. So the element 2 1 working backwards tells me to go from row 1 to row 2. So we started in row 1 and we're now in row 2. And finally the element P32 it tells me working backwards we start in row 2 of matrix A and we work our way to row 3. So here we have our red coloured row 2 has been moved to row 3. So when your permutation matrix is on the left hand side of the, pr of the product we find that we have a row permutation and our predicting or using the key from the elements works in reverse from right to left. A final example again a different permutation matrix again it's on the left hand side so this is a row permutation let's see how this one works we can see that the first row has become the third in matrix B the second row has become the second it remains the same in matrix B and the third in matrix A becomes the first in matrix B and it's summarized down here let's see how that matches with the key that we get from our permutation matrix so this has the reference of P13 working from right to left that tells me row 3 becomes row 1 row 3 becomes row 1 the second element is P22 that tells me that row looking from right to left that row 2 in first matrix A stays at row 2 in matrix B and they're both the same both colored in red and finally the element P31 working from right to left tells me that row 1 in matrix A becomes row 3 in matrix B so row 1 becomes row B uh, row 1 sorry row 1 3 row 1 rather I did badly there row 1 in matrix A has become row 3 in matrix B. Sorry for the mistake there. That's our final, thank goodness that's our final example. Let's see if we can summarize this. Column permutations involve the matrix multiplied by a permutation. Row permutations involve the permutation matrix multiplied by matrix A or whatever we're multiplying by. The elements that uses the key from the permutation matrix when it's a column permutation we read it from left to right the column 1 from matrix A becomes column 3 from matrix B when it's a row permutation we take the elements from our permutation matrix and we read it from right to left telling us that row 3 of matrix A becomes row 1 of matrix B well I hope this has clarified a little bit with permutation matrices and that you can practice this and master this skill thanks again for watching